Hey everybody, Justin Cener here. I've got a really great video for you. This is a bit of a mindset video here when it comes to print on demand. And let's say you have a winning product, right? Let's say you have a winning t-shirt. With print on demand, there is built-in scaling. And by that, I mean, if you have a winning product of any print on demand type, then you probably have a winning product of any other print on demand type. For example, let's say you see this cat t-shirt over here, right? If this is your winning product, on a t-shirt and people are really understanding and the design is resonating with them and they're taking out their credit card and they're purchasing this product doesn't matter you know what color or whatever this is just one style of print on demand products and there are hundreds about three four hundred different print on demand products out there all of which you can sell without ever touching them up front without ever having to pay for any inventory up front it, what makes it's really what makes the business model so powerful so you have a winning t-shirt right you turn it into a winning hoodie or a winning hat or a winning cell phone case or a winning wall canvas and you already know that your niche audience is going to really understand and love the design and they've already proven to take out their credit card and actually pay for the design you know you have a winner there you want to scale it as far as possible and it's really easy we'll go over the shoulder I'll show you but it's really as simple as taking that same design and just showcasing it on more product available in your print on demand catalog so over here we have an example of a winning product this is a little cat store we have a winning design over here. And what we want to do is scale this out to other print on demand products. Obviously we've already hit the t-shirt here, right? And if this is a doing really well, then we could assume it's going to do well on other products. So we're going to come into our print on demand app over here. I'm using print best and we're just going to go and add new product. Now we already know exactly what design we're going to pick. We just need to pick new product style. So if you've already done t-shirts, definitely go ahead, check out the long sleeve shirts, check out the sweatshirts, definitely check out the hoodies, which I'd say are the second most popular product after t-shirts, and go ahead and literally add a hoodie into your store with the same design. And you don't have to just match up apparel to apparel. You can come in here and do all different types of styles. You could do things like posters and puzzles, right? Things that get you some really nice profit margin. Again, you already know the design is gonna work, so you just simply wanna add more product. So we can come into any one of these ones over here, like for example, mugs, right? Mugs often have a similar design space as t-shirts, posters, keychains, coasters, mouse pads will work as well. We can literally just come in here and select the product and run through a print on demand setup, again, using that exact same design. So as you see here, we're just building a, uh, the same design on a mouse pad, and really it could be any other type of product. I just picked mouse pad as one example, but you'd wanna scale out to all the different products. Again, understanding that the design you have is already a winner. And that's really kind of the biggest challenge in print on demand, finding that winning design and then when you have that winning design, you want to scale it out. So we'll literally come back over here and we use the exact same title. We just obviously change it for a mouse pad and we could even use the same exact description. Another cool thing, you might want to link uh, to the original product. If it's a big winner, right? If you're driving traffic to the mouse pad, you might want to show people that big winning product as well. You could link back or have that as a related product in there. But the bottom line is, and we'll set this over here with some nice margin over here. We're gonna publish, uh, publish this into our store. No matter what product type you pick, you have that really high level of confidence that it's going to be a winner. So we're just clicking through here, finishing, and we'll get this into our Shopify store in a second. We could run ads, another powerful strategy with this. Literally go ahead and send an email marketing blast to people who already purchased this design and say, hey, we know you bought it on a t-shirt. Now we have a mouse pad, we have a hoodie, we have a cell phone case. You might wanna check it out as well. And we'll get this product, I'll show it to you in a second. There you go, the winning mouse pad design, coming off this idea of our winning t-shirt. So mouse pads, wall canvas, whatever you wanna do, make sure you get these winning products in there. If people want to buy this, then they'll wanna buy other things as well. No inventory, no cost up front, no design cost either. So this is something that is really easy money that a lot of people leave on the table. As soon as you get that winning product, you scale it out to all the different styles. So that's my case study, more than tees. Bottom line, just make sure you scale out to all of the print on demand products when you have that winning design. And if you wanna work directly with me, if you want me as your Shopify print on demand mentor, make sure you check out my t-shirt bootcamp program. The link is directly below this video. We get to work directly closely together in my mentor bootcamp program and you get all of my training videos, hundreds of training videos on Shopify, e-commerce, Facebook ads, literally everything you'd ever need plus direct access to me for questions, for motivation, really anything you need inside of that private group. So check out the link, the bootcamp program. I know you're going to love it. I hope this video helps you make some money and I'll talk to you real soon.